All right, guys, it's time for Say Less Footy Tips, round 15, another big round of NRL. Oh, I'm excited. Starting off Thursday night, I'll be at the game, Titans-Tigers, home game for the Titans, I'll be at Seabus Stadium. I'm excited. I think this is uh, can be a victory for the Tigers. Both teams are just, you know, got awesome teams this year, maybe not playing to their full potential, but I think this is going to be an absolutely fantastic game. The game last year, the... The Titans won, I think, seven or eight, six in the last, like, two minutes. They scored a try. I think the Tigers should get them this time. But both teams, like I said, you never, never know. Um, definitely always going to back Tigers. Yeah, but I definitely think they can get the get the win here. Moving on to Friday, uh, Raiders up against the Warriors. Wow, what a game. Like, the Raiders have won, like, six of their past eight. Uh, the Warriors are just up and down, but last week, Sean Johnson at his brilliant best. Oh, I, this is such a tough one. I've gone the Warriors just because I'm just loving what the Warriors are doing this season. Uh, definitely an upset. We're looking at the prices. The Raiders 150, Warriors 260. Uh, but I'm taking the Warriors. I'm oh, I'm sticking true to the Warriors. Um, uh, late game on Friday night, Seagulls versus Dolphins now. This oh this this could be a really really good game and I'm glad it's the late Friday game and I'm glad I get to watch it live this week. Um, a lot of lot of ins. Uh, Tavoyevic has been named. Oh, a lot of ins for the Dolphin. Hammers back. Jeremy Marshall King's back. That's a that's a very very big key in. Uh, Cherry Evans obviously. How did I miss that? Um, yeah, I think Milford got injured or suspended. Um, but yeah, oh, this is a great game. Um, still no Jake Tavoyevich, and I think Ben Tavoyevich is going to be out for a while. But uh, look, I've gone with I've gone with Manly. I think I've gone with Manly. I'll have to check my tips uh, later on. Definitely gone Manly. And looking at looking at the ends, Cherry Evans, Tom Tavoyevich, big ends. Who knows? Dolphins will probably do them, but I'm going to take the Eagles. They're at home as well. Uh, moving on to Saturday, Dragons, Rabbits. How can you take the Dragons right now? Like, you know what? This could this could be the upset of the round. Um, but I don't know. Like, you still think Damien Cook's playing to get into uh, the Origin team. Um, they are missing Cam Murray and Jai Arrow, which is huge. Oh, the Dragons are missing Jack DeBellin. Um, Jack Bird comes back in, who's probably been behind Hunt dragons best player i just i just can't can't tip dragons at the moment look hopefully they surprise me hopefully they do it's good to see they're still sticking with jacob little i think he's uh i think he's a future hooker for the dragons and they're sticking it out with him but rabbitos to win that one saturday broncos versus knights look knights are looking really good with uh with Hastings and Gamble, and they are sticking to that Haas pairing. Ponga at the back. Um, oh, so Ponga up against Reese Walsh. Whoa, what a matchup. Oh, I didn't even realize that until I just clicked on the team list. Holy dooly, what a matchup. That's going to be awesome. Look at, oh, look, dead set. There are some matchups across the park, especially in the back line. Corey Oates, Dominic Young, Katoni Staggs, Dane Gagai, Herbie Farmworth, Bradman Best, Selwyn Cobbo, Greg Marzu. Holy dooly. That is fantastic. And a couple of big boys in the uh in the in the front row. The Safidi brothers, Thomas Flegler, Payne Haas, and a couple of Mr. Fixits, Phoenix Crosland, who's been really good, and Billy Walters, who's very underrated. Loving Billy Walters this year. Look, can't forget the old Pat Patty Carrigan as well. Look. I think the Broncos get this one. Just just to how well they're playing this year. They should definitely get the win over the Knights. Um, well, where am I up to here? Oh, wow. Roosters, Panthers, Saturday night. Where are they playing? They're playing at Allianz. Wow. This is, this is oh, no Cleary. Roosters starting to hit their straps. I'm going to take the Roosters here. Like, big upset, I know, but I'm tipping the Roosters. Don't let me down, Roosters. On a big game for Joey Manu. Uh, probably should check if he's playing. Definitely be playing. Nah. Dead set. Wow. All right. Oh, yeah, he is. What am I? An idiot. Can't even read. 
Manu up against Luai. Wow, how did I miss that? Anyway, I'm tipping the Roosters to upset the Panthers. I think I need to fix that tip up on my tipping sheet. Uh, last game, no, second last game. Storm versus Sharks. Oh, wow. They've both been pretty ordinary the last couple of weeks. Storm's at home in Melbourne. It's always close. Look, oh, mate. You know, I just think yeah, this is a dead set coin flip. And I think I'm going to take the Sharks. I know, controversial. I'm always on the Storm. Like, the Storm are just, are just good. But I'm going to take the Sharks. Like, Storm don't often lose two in a row, but I, I just think, I think the Sharks, the Sharks in Melbourne always, they have this strange rivalry, but I think the Sharks can do them. And the last, is a Monday game, which is Bulldogs versus Eels. I'm going to stick with the Eels. This is also, if they haven't picked the, the origin sides, this is like the last sort of uh, audition that Mitch Moses can do for replacing Nathan Cleary in origin. Uh, what I think will happen in Origin, I still think I think Nico Hines will just go into seven. Luai will stay at six. I don't think they're going to change the team too much. They'll probably change a few of the forwards. Probably stick with the outside backs. Latrell will come in for Stephen Crichton. Um, that's what will happen in New South Wales. That was a quick little uh, Origin rundown. Cowboys get the bye finally this week. Thanks for listening. Say less. Footy tips. Peace out. Thanks for listening.